So my dear friends and my dear subscribers, this is Kesantosh Kumar, he is a Digitalologist, we have to learn the different type of classes in our YouTube channel, okay, YouTube Geology, my channel. And today, we are discussing the MZ Geology class, Phylum Pladihelminthes, Phylum Pladihelminthes, okay, why this phylum named as a Pladihelminthes, okay, because the worms are flattened in nature because the worms are flattened in nature because these worms are drosoventrally flattened these are the drosoventrally flattened prashtatalam udaratalam rendu vaipula kuda balla parpu ga anachi untayi anachi untayi balla parpu ga undadam valla vit name alla anta flat worms balla parpu purugulu ani anta and mostly survival as a endoparasites Mostly survival as endoparasites. Antara parana jivulika jivistu unte. The survival as endoparasites in the human being and animals. These are the first organism to show the bilaterally symmetrical diploblastic and acylomate animals. We metazimus on a motamadati azivarata dipaksa saustavani chupinja jivulu, dristarta jivulu, mario. त्रिस्तरित जीवलो मरियो इनका ये ना इंटा शरीर का कोहरा रहित जीवलो अंचे पच्च कावड़े भी नो देता बायोलेटरी सिमेट्रिकल वैन ओके वैन ओनली वन प्लान पास थ्रू द सेंट्रल सेंट्रल एक्सेस ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिज्म डिवाइड्स इनटू टू आइडेंटिकल पार्ट्स आर इक्वल पार्ट्स ओके दैट इज़ कॉल्ड बायोलेटरी सिमेट्रिकल Three general layers, ectoderm, endoderm, mesoderm. Bahe twachum, antho twachum, majja twachan ni kalik munta hai ni. And this organism to show the organ system level of organization. Okay. Avaya walu, avaya vyavastham na kalik munta hai ni. Yavasthi karana kalik munta hai ni. Jeevudu. And the body is not show the segmented. Etu vanti kandhi bhaan wale edu munta hai ni. Kani. Some exhibits, some Pladihelminthes organism exhibits to show the pseudo-metamerism. Konni jivul lo matra ho, midya kandi bavan wale di kanakishtu mundu nandhi. They show that modern cephalization, what is the means about cephalization? Okay, the sensory organs are very well developed in the anterior part of an organism that is called cephalization. She is shita ni under in it. And they show that the moderate cephalization and unidirectional movement is one way to do it in the locomotion. And they have contained some adopted adaptations as endoparasites. They have a lot of endoparasites. But they have a lot of endoparasites. They have a lot of endoparasites. They have hooks and suckers. Hooks and suckers. Suckers and suckers. Chushakalu, okay, by using these hooks and suckers, they survive inside the host organism. They are present in the, I mean, parasitic form and which show the parasitic nature in the blood element is they have contained the hooks and the suckers. Then coming to the digestive system of these organisms, if present, if the digestive system is present, which have only one, which have only one mouth, they have not any anus. The mouth is only acts like a anus. Okay, and uh, digestive. Coming to the nerve system, nadi piyavastha choose the Okay, these are the moderate development. These are the moderate development with the brain, cephalic ganglia. Okay, how it is called uh, in here? Cephalic ganglia and the nerve cord forming a ladder like system. Okay, cephalic ganglia are the nerve cords. Okay, na? cephalic ganglia and nerve cords. And it is called the forming a ladder like system. Okay, it is called the ladder like system. Okay, it is called the ladder like system. And they have a specialized cells for the excretion that is called flame cells. So these flame cells are used for the osmoregulation and excretion. Okay, to excrete the waste material from their body at the same time 
the regulation they participate in the osmo regulation we know that osmo regulation because the water levels maintaining the water levels and the salts salt ions in their body that is called osmo regulation which helps in that then coming to that okay the sexes are not separate that's why it's called as the monoecious the male and female reproductive organs consist in a single individual that's called monoecious the sexes sexes are not separate then coming to fertilization is internal fertilization faladikaranam anedi ela jarutundi internal ga jarutundandi faladikaranam ante enti fertilization ante entanta the fusion of the male and female gametes sri purusha bija kanala kalayakane faladikaranam ani antaru this kind of the fertilization takes place inside the cell inside the organism called internal fertilization so they show the indirect development apratyaksha abhruddhini chupistu untundandi whenever organism to show the indirect development they produce some type of the larvas okay more than one more than one larvas are produced more than two larvas are produced in the life cycle of the cladium and this organism especially in the liver fluke they produce many larval stages like menasidium sporocyst ridia sarcaria metasarcaria okay especially in the life cycle of the liver fluke they show the several or many larval stages merasidium sporocyst ridia sarcaria and metasarcaria anetondi larva sarcaria jeev lo chodachu especially the liver fluke jeev lo then they show the polyembryonic stages commonly seen in the some plant helminthes okay some type of the plant helminthes exhibits polyembryonic stages okay na more than one embryos are formed in these uh, organism for example liver fluke then coming to the some sporocysts some members of the plant helminthes possess the high degree of high degree of regeneration capacity achchadikanga deni kaligi unnay anta ponaruthpattani kaligi untay andi once lost its spots there they produce spots regain the again that's called a regeneration regeneration capacity is mostly developed in some type of plant helminthes for example planaria okay planaria ane jeevulo ekkuga punarutpadana capacity anedi untu then coming to that some examples seen in this phylum plant helminthes tinea solium okay na tinea solium badrapurani antarante fasciola hepatica okay fasciola hepatica okay na fluke liver fluke ane antaru danne histosoma hematobium blood fluke it's called as a blood fluke dugisia okay dugisia these are the some commonly common examples seen in the cladical mantis organisms okay na if you want to more videos from mine na as if you like my classes comment and share with your friends and subscribe my channel thank you